Hey Nicole, this is Tristan from Rally Subaru. I just want to take a quick minute and do a walk around of this 2023 Subaru Outback Wilderness. Again, this is going to be uh, one of the higher end trims. You get that uh, shorter gearing ratios, better suspension systems, bit of a lift to it, uh, front and rear skid plates too. A few big things right off the front, really aggressive looking grill here. We have the front tow hooks, so you can tie into those if you ever need a nice tow out of area. And then of course on the front, you do have those iconic hexagonal fog lights. That, pair up with the LED steering responsive headlights as well. So those guys will move with your steering wheel too. And front view camera on the front end there. So I really love the front end cladding. You get the uh, base of the light deflector over the front hood, heating elements in the front windshield wipers. Uh, and of course you still get the eyesight systems for all the safety. You get the 17 inch Yokohamas. These guys are really well rated for climbing. Uh, really good quality tires. They're mud and snow rated. Wilderness badging, blacked outside mirrors, blind spot detection on the inside of the mirror too. So that's a big thing there. Welcome lighting, auto dimming side mirrors. On the back side here, you can see that front end cladding, that orange outback stitching there. On the back, you have some more tow hook points. You also do have uh, wilderness base mats and wilderness cargo tray as well. So it's badged there too. Cool thing, seat releases here. You can drop the seats down if you ever need. So this is just a little release that will bring the seats down there. Uh, the cool thing with these seats, uh, they do have a hard rubber on the back, so there's no felt. And another nice thing too, there's a full-size spare tire as well. So that's another Yokohama uh, full-size tire and uh, rim there for you, which is a nice little bonus. Additional cargo areas here. Just going to close this up. These uh, roof rails aren't integrated, uh, so it's going to basically be with this package here. They're not going to be adjustable crossbars with them like the other packages. Uh, it's designed this way, so it has a better weight rating. Holds about 800 pounds static here. You have keyless entry, so you can lock and unlock the car. And of course, on the interior, you get some really nice wilderness badging. The gold trim that matches up with the carbon fiber. Golden accents. It's technically ionized copper, but you get this ionized copper finish around the gear shifter. The seats also have this nice textured pattern. Uh, it's a StarTex material, so much easier to keep clean. Uh, you don't have to worry about conditioning it like traditional leather. And then, of course, for the seats, we have the wilderness badging here, the backside. You do have lumber supports and power seat with the tilt. You can see here as well. So there's the tilt. You can move it up, down, and lumber support controls here. Uh, underneath the hood, though, I'm just going to pop this up in a little bit, but I'll show you the digital cluster here so we can start this up. You have that 11.6-inch touchscreen. They've done a lot of work updating these in the near future here uh so basically what this has done uh we're just going to turn up the brightness a little bit here for us now some things as well a few things you have uh wireless carplay android auto now on these packages a few other things wireless phone charger down here you do have the front view camera as well which is a nice little bonus and then now uh, can pop that up of course dual climate control as well in this package here so that's something that's really nice there automated climate control and it's all through the touchscreen here so everything's gonna be controlled for your infotainment system volume controls you have all your controls still on the steering wheel as well and then the adaptive cruise control so you can basically open it up you can set the number of car lengths that you want it to be at and you can see the outback up on the screen there and then you can set your speed here and then you have your little lane center assist so if that's kicked in while the cruise control's on it will keep you centered in the lane you have your heated steering wheel, definitely a bonus. Hopefully we don't need that anytime soon uh, with it being spring here. Auto dimming rear view mirror with the integrated compass. And then you do have uh, as well your home link for all your garage door openers. But a good amount of space, really good safety ratings. And of course, this guy's paired with the 2.4 liter engine. Uh, so it's gonna be turbo. Uh, you don't require premium fuel with this either. Uh, of course, another thing with it, I'm gonna pop it up and just show you a little bit more too in a second here. All right, so what we have here is a 2.4 liter turbocharged boxer engine. Big thing with that box, you're gonna have a horizontally opposed engine. The pistons are gonna lay flat. Big benefits of that, lower center of gravity. You're gonna have really good handling with this vehicle. Of course, besides that though, uh, you're gonna have a fully symmetrical drivetrain as well. So well, the entire vehicle is designed to be even across the entire board. Uh, so better safety ratings there as well because the engine, if it ever does get into a front end collision, will shear down and away from the vehicle as well with this car. Uh, taking a look at it though, it's gonna have full-time all-wheel drive uh, and that's powered again with the Subaru Boxer engine. So it's always kicked in. It's not gonna be a part-time system uh, for your drivetrain. So really great all-wheel drive. Uh, again, you get the shorter gear ratios with the Wilderness as well. A little bit worse for highway mileage, uh, but I mean, in the city, it's not too different. This guy's really, really well rated uh, for the uh, winter driving. Really cool things to just point out. Of course, you have the turbocharger intercooler as well. Uh, the all wheel drive systems here. We have the braking systems, battery, oil filter on the top. Really nice feature there for any of your mechanics. They will love you for this. Uh, we do have the engine oil cap uh, and then we have our washer fluid 
Uh, the backup camera does have an integrated uh, washer, so whenever you wash your back window, it'll wash off that backup camera too. So when you're getting super rugged and things are getting uh, a little bit filthy back there, you can still see what's going on. But yeah, if you want any more information on this, Nicole, I'd be happy to give you a hand.